Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but I also do some jewelry, stationery, books, beauty, and a little dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't checked me out over yet on Instagram, please do. It's just Maui underscore Noelle. I'll leave the link for that below. And I also still have a giveaway going on, a great way to connect with friends and family through photos. If you haven't checked that video out, I will leave that link above. It is for Sweet Pick and you have the opportunity to win six free tiles or I also have a great coupon code for you in that video as well. So let's get into the new box that I've got for you today. It is a 180 degrees box and I think that it is some of the best packaging that I have seen. It comes in a big outer box of course and just so you all know I have been taking precautions when I get these boxes in the mail kind of wiping them all down letting them sit for a while making sure that I'm keeping everything safe but this was the beautiful red box that was was inside the bigger brown box with this lovely ribbon. I think the presentation is awesome. Now 180 degrees speaks to the idea of making positive turnaround changes in your life and obviously this is a fantastic time for that. A lot of us have been staying indoors a little bit more. We've had the opportunity to be a little more introspective. Some of us are learning new hobbies. Uh, some of us are getting caught up on things that we've been meaning to do for a long time. So it is a time where we have a little bit of renewal and change and creating positive new habits so it seemed like a great time to get this box as well now 180 degree box is $49.99 per month but that does include the shipping which is normally $10 by itself and I was able to get a little bit of a discount and go ahead and subscribe for a few months so I did bring that price down within my personal budget and if you haven't been watching my channel for a while my personal budget I do try to keep any subscription between 30 and 40 dollars per month if not even less than that and that applies to monthly, bi-monthly, and seasonal. So for example, if it is a seasonal box, I count that as three months, right? Because usually those seasonal boxes tend to be a little bit pricier. So let's get into it. Hopefully I can just slide the ribbon off neatly. So again, I just love the packaging, think it's so pretty. Now I have this beautiful like black satin ribbon that I can maybe reuse. And then on the side here, I'll just show you the box. It's just got in script a little sticker that's got some powerful positive adjectives like the one that of course is sticking out here is resilient and strong and enough. All things that we need to be reminded of right now. So here we go. Inside, what I'm seeing is a few little pamphlets, some paperwork, some polka dot tissue paper, some blue tissue paper, and then like a little die cut out of this gorgeous uh, butterfly. So I don't know why, but I'm gonna show you this little butterfly. It's so cute. I've been seeing a lot of butterflies in different subscription themes, which I guess goes with spring. Um, right now it's like pouring outside, so hopefully those April showers aren't too loud on the video. The theme for this month is brave and beautiful. So it's just got like this little brochure and inside it tells us everything that we've got. So quite a few items right here. It doesn't look like it includes the retail prices, which you know I love to have the retail prices in my subscription description cards. Um, but it does tell us that we've got, let's see, a whole bunch. It says, has two columns. So the first column is for body and mind and the second column is for food and soul. So I kind of like those two categories. Um, and then it looks like we also get a charm every month and this time it's a ceramic shaker. So we'll have to get closer to that. It says, be brave and beautiful. When was the last time you tried something new? Brave and beautiful is about stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new. We are encouraging you and letting you know you can do anything you set your mind to. April Box will remind you that you should try new things. It will inspire you to grow and change and learn what you like and do not like. Let's get outside as well and try something new. You will be glad that you did. Go for it. And that's from Arlene, who's the owner of 180 Degree Box. So it looks like on the body and mind side, we got one, two, three, four, five, six items. And then over on the food and soul side, also six items. So it looks like we got 12 items, a dozen things in this box. So it seems like the value is definitely there, even though they don't have the actual numbers. Um, and then it's just a little, a little sheet here that says each month our box includes a red velvet charm bag, an extra special bonus treat just for you to enjoy. So that's kind of one of those fun things that some subscriptions do where it kind of helps to create some customer loyalty because you always want that little extra 
extra thing. Um, and then of course it just tells us where to connect with them on social media. And it also has, an op you have an opportunity to win a free box by sharing your favorites, which is something that I always do over on my Instagram account. So maybe one of these days I'll win a free box from one of these subscription companies. I should hope so. All right, so I'm gonna open up the tissue paper. Wow, you guys, again, this is some amazing packaging. So here's all these beautiful bright foozles, and then you can see there are a few more of those butterfly cutouts. So I will hold those up to you a little bit closer. These will definitely be going in some of my Instagram photos. They're really, really pretty, and you can see they kind of have some like gold foil on them too. So um, there's a little bit of shimmer and shine to them. These are so neat. I just had the opportunity to kind of get a behind the scenes tour of the Natural History Museum uh, and there were all these butterflies, which is a little bit sad to see them like pinned on those boards, but there are some amazing butterflies out there in the world. So it was kind of cool. Um, I miss those days when we could go to museums in person. <laughs> Maybe they'll be back soon. So I'm just gonna move all of the foozles off. They kind of came off in one nice layer. So here is this beautiful box. This is where I wish that I had taken pictures before I did my unboxing because I can never get it all back in there exactly the same way. But I'm gonna put the pamphlet up in front of me. Hopefully that stays. And then we'll see what we've got inside. Cool. So the first thing I am seeing is an edible treat. My eye always goes to those first. Some skinny dipped almonds in dark chocolate raspberry. It says skinny dipping, yes please, just like these almonds, we will soon be able to go skinny dipping. Enjoy these layered dark chocolate almonds with a sprinkle of pure raspberry. So just a little container, which is nice, right? Guilt-free because uh, I don't think calories count when we're dealing with coronavirus, right? Sure. Okay, so there's that. I'm happy to have that. Um, and then here we go. This looks like this by Lesser Evil. Grain-free paleo puffs with organic coconut oil and it's with uh, Himalayan pink salt. So just a little touch of savory. Unstoppably poppable. This Himalayan pink sea salt paleo puffs will be a treat to your palate. Enjoy this grain-free snack as you read your book. So a little spoiler, I guess we're getting a book in here, enjoy. But I love any snacks. I love crunchy things too, especially when I'm trying to work at my computer. They kind of keep me awake and working. Although I know you're not really supposed to eat at your computer. That's like a bad habit that I've been trying to break a little bit. See if I can keep going in order. So then we've got this little tiny Smashmallow Cinnamon Churro Treat. So it just comes in this little one. So even though we're getting like 12 items, some of these are just like bite-sized little itty bitties. It says about this guy, premium snacking made with organic cane sugar and natural ingredients. Smashmallow is a sweet pick-me-up for every day, any time of day, and allows a guilt-free indulgence. We've gotten Smashmallow stuff. I think I got that in an up box. We got some like Rice Krispie treats, and then also we got some chocolate covered ones in an introverted chick box. So they seem like a product that's pretty popular with the subscription companies. Let's see if I can find the next thing. It is this protein nature bites, 14 grams of non-dairy protein and gluten free. So this is a box that's definitely working with a lot of different people's dietary, um, let's not call them restrictions, but needs instead. So it says, uh, you work hard to manage your daily nutrition and you want a delicious and satisfying snack that won't keep you from your goals. So let's see if it says what like flavor this is. It's just on here it says Bobo's Oat, but I'm not seeing, oh, it says chocolate truffle. That makes it sound more exciting to me. All right, I love my little like snack pile that I'm creating over here. Um, oh, no, you know what? I totally said the wrong thing, you guys. It looks like this is something else. Oh, so it's two different things. So this was the Nature Bites in that truffle flavor, and then there's also the Bobos Oat Bites. So they put that together as one item. And so here's these little guys. It looks like a little muffin almost. So that's cool. So we got, we got two more snackies. So, so far I've gotten like five snacks over there. Let's see. And then it says some um, encouragement pencils. Hmm. I'm not seeing those. Oh, there's another Smashmallow. So it wasn't just the one. It was two. We got one in cookie dough and one in cinnamon churro. So yay. I'm excited for those. Um, lots and lots of little snacky things. 
Let's see, I think I'm gonna have to go off of the going in order on the pamphlet now, if you don't mind. So this is the spoiler that I was super excited about. It's an umbrella. Like I said, it's raining outside. It's going to be raining for the next few days here in Southern California. Can't complain though, otherwise our weather is pretty fantastic most of the time. This umbrella just says shade from the sun or rain. You can enjoy the outdoors anytime around with this handy, beautiful umbrella. So it's got the nice cover. I'm not super superstitious about opening up umbrellas, um, but it does have a really pretty interior if I remember. So it's just like black and almost like slick on the outside. You can see it's kind of slick on the outside. And then on the inside, let's see if I can actually open it up. I won't like open it up all the way just in case. So inside it's kind of got this almost like ombre like floral thing going on. Just in case, because we don't need any more bad luck in 2020, I will open it up outside and take my pictures. So you can go head over to Instagram and see what those look like. Who knows? What do you think? Should I open it up? I don't know. I think, I think just in case, I'll open it up outside and I can actually get some use out of it since it is raining, like I said. So great umbrella. I have a couple umbrellas, but I needed a new one. So it's good to have one in the car all the time too. All right, so I'm gonna put our little red velvet charm over to the side and go into this new body lotion. It is BU Gful body lotion. It says it's made in Georgia. Let's see if I can smell it. Oh, no, it's, oh, well, my like little protective seal was, was open. You can see it kind of got punched inside, but that's okay, it looks pretty pretty sealed. Nothing like came out. But I can smell it. I can't place the scent, but it's like kind of creamy, kind of sweet, um, not super floral or perfumey. I'm trying to see if it says what the actual scent is, and it doesn't look like it does, but you can see it kind of looks like a small batch shop that's making this lotion. And it just says UD Body Lotion Beautiful. That's what it is. It's not a J. See, I thought it was a J. Beautiful. Huh, that makes more sense. Body lotion is relaxing, sweet and fresh, just like spring, beautiful like you, and will remind you each time you use it that you are enough. And we go through body lotion in this household very, very quickly. Um, this is the kind of jar that I like. I like where it's easy to kind of squeeze out or pump out versus the ones where you have to dip your hand in. So definitely putting that in the queue for lotion. The next thing I am seeing comes in this cute little tin, and whatever it is, it is in the scent of lavender. Let's see. I think this is the growing kit. How cool. Includes container seeds and growing medium and instructions. I am so excited. I love lavender on Maui, which is where I grew up. Um, that's the reason my channel name is Hi Noel, since Hi is the abbreviation for Hawaii. Um, there is a lavender farm and it is so awesome. And I know some people aren't super fans of lavender, but I love it. I think it is very calming. So I wonder if different people got different growing kits in their subscription box but I'm super excited for the lavender I love that you can grow it in the little tin and everything super excited um, I'm gonna take pictures of it all wrapped up but I'll obviously take pictures of it when I open it up and hopefully I'll uh, have a little bit of a green thumb and get some lavender to grow as well cool I like that that's really nice very very springy on theme and then there's this little guy really really pretty packaging I'm wondering if this is maybe the pencils hmm Let's see if I can open this up. I always have a hard time opening things like this. Maybe this is the lip color. This is like a surprise. They didn't even have to individually wrap things and it's still a surprise. Oh, maybe this is the perfume oil. That's what it is, it's the perfume oil. Come on out. All right, so this is the B&B &B perfume oil. Again, this is by UD Bath and Body. B&B Perfume Oil is an exclusive all-over body floral roll-on that can be used on your wrist, neck, or anytime you desire. Take it with you anytime. Couple little typos in there, which you guys know I'm an editor, so my eye just always gravitates right to the typos. Um, but I know that a lot of times this is like this, putting together this pamphlet is one of the things that subscription box owners, I think, hate the most. So I can't really smell anything. Hold on. Let me see. I don't want to like get it going too crazy. Maybe there's a cap on it. Oh, there's a cap on it. Heh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny if I was like faking it and telling you that I smelled something, but really like obviously there's nothing to smell. Let me see if I can get that cap off. I finally had to take my gel nail polish off and I had to cut my nails because they were just getting too long for me to do any typing. 
but now my nails are so short I can't do like anything. Oh no, that is the top. I shouldn't be taking that off because now the oil is coming out onto my hands. So I guess I'm going to be using this because I can't pass it on to someone now. Well, at least I didn't make a mess. So it is like now up in the cap. This is kind of, mm, it smells like, it smells like Plumeria to me. It smells like Frangipani. Yeah, that's what it smells like, which is a great smell. So I'm happy to have this nice little uh, perfume roller. Let's see, what does it say? It says almond oil and jojoba with base of sunflower and I can't read that. <laughs> but I don't know what scent exactly it is. But like I said, it really smells like Plumeria to me or maybe like tuberose. Definitely like a flower, but a flower that I like. So I'm cool with that. Let's keep going. Here is the lip color. Now I will say that this lip color by Lux looks a little bit light for me, even though it does match my nails pretty good. Um, so this will probably go in a giveaway. It says, feel as luxurious as this lipstick that is comfy, lightweight, and formulated with hydrating butters to glide on your lips. Just because I have like very little pigment in my lips, I usually have to put a pretty deep lip color on um, for them to not look super washed out. But this one, while it is a pretty color, doesn't look like it's a color that's gonna work for me. So I'm just just gonna put that aside that's okay I have plenty of lip colors um, this is a cream cleanser by Cora so let me see if I can get that to show up by Cora we'll open this up so we've got all kinds of stuff we got a cleanser we got a lotion we got a perfume oil so gets you all ready to go sit in front of the TV <laughs> so nice tube again nice packaging pretty springy blue and let's see what it says. A luxurious cream cleanser formulated to gently cleanse and restore moisturize your, restore moisture to your skin. Man, doesn't help if there's typos or not if I can't read. Deeply hydrating certified organic ingredients. So super excited to have that. Let's see, cream cleanser. Um, it doesn't say, oh, this is an interesting top. So it looks like you can squeeze it out the top this way. I wonder if that's a pump or if you just squeeze it from the tube. Let me know, I'm a, I'm a little nervous to do it right now, but I'm sure I'll, I'll try it out. And it sounds like you can use it all over your skin. It says circular motions, uh, face, neck, and neckline. So it is more of a facial cleanser than like a, a body cleanser. Good to know. All right, I think we're almost there. The last thing I'm seeing is the You Are a Badass book. So in this refreshingly entertaining how-to guide full of hilariously inspiring stories, sage advice, easy exercises, helping you to identify and change things that stop you from getting what you want. So this is to remind you that you are indeed a badass. Great book, sounds like it could be kind of funny and clever and witty and that's the kind of book that I like if it is a non-fiction sort of self-help inspiring book. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to have this in my stack of books that's behind me that's opening up, getting taller and taller. Um, but this is something just for the bright, happy cover that I might reach for. So let's just do a quick recap and then I will get into that red velvet pouch. We've got this book, we've got the awesome umbrella that I am sad that I have to use but is still excited to use. We got that uh, very light lip color, which I will probably pass on to one of you. We got the beautiful cream cleanser with that interesting top. We got this beautiful lotion. We got the little perfume oil that I think smells like home. We got so many snacks, you guys. We got paleo puffs. We got the little bites. We got the little smash mallows. Uh, we got a bar. All those things are going to be in my belly very, very soon. And then it does say that we were supposed to get some encouragement pencils. I'm not really, oh, there they are. There they are, they were hiding against the edge, just in some springy colors, nothing super exciting, nothing written on them, but three pencils, which I don't use pencils a lot. I don't even know if I have a pencil sharpener these days, but that's cool, kind of goes with, and if you are a pencil person, then then you could use them, but I'm most excited about this growing kit. I'm super excited to set this up. The last item that I am seeing is this little bunny. He's still got some foozles on him, and it looks like we got a little ceramic shaker. Now, this is a little weird to me because we didn't get the full set, so it looks like I've just got the... Uh, salt shaker because he's got three holes on his head instead of maybe the one for a pepper shaker so it looks like this guy's got the little flower on his foot which is absolutely adorable but then in the photo it looks like there's a couple other little bunnies that you could have got that are like sitting up maybe those are salt shakers but i guess you could like put a different spice like to add on to your salt and pepper shaker maybe if you like 
paprika or maybe you like a different kind of thicker grain salt so interesting interesting little thing if you guys have gotten 180 degree box tell me what are some of the other charms or red velvet pouch items that you've gotten in the past if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and hopefully i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing have a great day and stay safe